Tower Defense Simulator has a lot of skins, specialized items which you can equip onto towers to change their appearance. I will look at some of the best and weirdest skins in the game. So starting off in the weirder end, we have the Cassidus Cowboy skin, which at first appears pretty regular, the most noteworthy thing about it being its unique animations. And upgrading it to levels 1 through 4, it gets the right cosmetics and even a secondary gun, but when upgrading it to level 5, things go very wrong. It loses its glasses, and instead of gaining a Gatling gun like the original design, it just holds its two guns in a very odd pose with a broken firing animation, and it seems like this model wasn't properly updated when it was remade. Coincidentally, this skin was a code which came paired with another, the ICT Freezer, which also has a glitch associated with it, as it has a much smaller placement space, a pretty odd quirk which does give some advantage to the skin, as you can place more of them in a smaller space. But other than that, the models are all fine, and low its animations do seem a bit off, it still does attack and freeze enemies. Speaking of codes, one that was recently released was the John Militant. It's a pretty basic skin with its classic chef outfit contrasting the military gear, but unfortunately it does not come with the buff of the original tower. But what about some of the stranger, normally functional skins? Sometimes TDS makes series for skin crates, making a bunch of skins for different towers, but all with a similar theme. And the biggest ever of these series was the Spooky series, which held a sub-series of ghost skins. Now these were pretty odd, mainly because they're ghosts. They're all pretty similar appearance-wise, with translucent parts you can see through, making them feel very distinct to a lot of other skins. The DJ is definitely the best with a fully unique electric guitar in a brand new modeled stage. But some of the others aren't great, being essentially just a regular tower with the parts changed in texture and opacity. But still, overall theme series have brought some of the best skins in the game, like Christmas Tree Farm, Gargoyle Commander, or even Witch Medic. However, unfortunately, all of these skins are also very rare, only being in the game during 2019. And as someone who only got into the game during 2020, I've missed these and a lot of other skins. But one of the absolute earliest skins I did get is Bunny Scale. Part of the bunny series. At that time, I didn't really know how to play the game, but I did somehow end up playing enough to unlock this skin, with its bunny ear hat and pink color scheme. I think it's pretty clean, it's a neat memento of the older version of the game. However, to see what skins the general community likes, I asked my group for their opinions. Now easily the top answer was the Mage Accelerator skin, a deluxe grade exclusive for the hardcore tower. It's definitely pretty different from the original, using a gem rather than a laser gun to attack, but I've always thought this was kinda weird. And looking at used images of the original design, you can see it was actually meant to have a staff, which I think would have made a lot more sense thematically and would have made the skin a lot better. And in the vein of hard to get skins, we have the Bloxy Commander, a commemorative code released shortly after TDS won the Bloxies. Definitely a very good skin, with a nice trophy model and the color scheme going from bronze to silver to gold, even getting particle effects at max level, a very rare effect among skins. It's similar in aesthetic to the golden skins, making a standard among commander skins, of which there are a lot. Another popular pick was Slugger Gladiator. One of the more regular premium crate skins. It's themed after a baseball player, and with its red, blue, and white color scheme, it feels very bright and distinct compared to some of the other skins. And lastly, we have the Tycoon Farm. I think all the farm skins are actually very good, with completely unique models and concepts, and that shows here, as this skin is themed after the classic Roblox Tycoon games. You have the iconic droppers, the conveyor belt, and the laser door. But honestly, I think the skin looks kinda weird at its max level, as it feels pretty out of scale with the rest of the towers in the game. And finally, I want to talk about some weird quirks with some skins, like the Steampunk Rocketeer, currently the only skin to be removed from the premium crate, which has still not been made re-obtainable, which is pretty strange considering the skin is perfectly functional, it's fully modeled and properly animated, and it will attack the zombies and do damage. It even looks like the model has been updated at some point, so why has it been unobtainable for over a year? I don't know. And then there are other skins which might be more deserving of a rework. Like the Toy Rocketeer, a tower which has had a history of being broken. In the current patch it does work correctly, but its final stage still uses an outdated design for the rocket launcher. But that might be intentional, maybe? Or the Red Crook Boss, which is just not colored correctly. However, luckily the blue version does appear properly. Basic skins in general are just kinda strange. They're just the regular towers, slightly color swapped. And with the actual crates, for some reason you can continuously open them even while having all the skins. As when I was opening these crates, I got duplicates of duplicates, and they don't even show up in the inventory. So in summation, TDS actually has a lot of good skins, along with a lot of questionable ones. Subscribe!